What is going on everybody? Tech3ZAST here and in this video I'm going to show you how to play the PC game Transformers War for Cybertron on your Android device. Now with that being said, let's get started. So firstly we need to have the game transferred to our Android device and put it in a folder. You can put it in any folder that you want. I've got a folder called uh, PC. So I'm just going to go into it now and here is the game. So you need to make sure it is in the extracted format, basically transferred from your PC to your Android device. Now in the binaries folder, this is the file pwfc.exe that we will be using to launch the game. So next we're going to go over to Chrome and download GameHub Lite. So this is a modded version of GameHub which removes the signing process, telemetry, and any other thing that you thought was sus. And another reason, well two reasons I'm using GameHub is because it crashes on win later. And secondly, you can skip the intro videos. Now we're going to scroll down to the bottom to assets. And you can see there are several APKs. So N22, Ludashi, PUBG. This basically tricks GameHub into going into higher performance mode. So it depends which APK you download. I'm using the Odin 2, so I've got the N22 version and I've already got it downloaded and installed, so I'm not going to be downloading it right now. So here it is, I'm going to launch GameHub Lite. So once it has finished uploading, we're going to go towards the left where it says PC Emulator, tap on Import PC Games, then enable this so it can have access to files on the device. Then we're going to browse to a game. So for me, it's in the PC folder, Transformers, Binaries, and then select the EXE file. And we can just tap on Confirm. Now, if you're using GameHub for the very first time, then you're going to be seeing this download screen. Basically, it is downloading all the dependencies that are required for GameHub and certain games to work correctly. If you've used GameHub before, then you shouldn't be seeing this screen. So we're just going to wait for that to finish downloading. I'm going to press back. Now, if you try to launch the game, in this instance, Transformers War for Cybertron is not going to work. It's going to exit. So we're going to tap on the three dots, go to PC Game Settings. Under General, where it says Enter Container Desktop, we're going to go into that. And let it finish downloading this file. And then we're going to go to my computer. Then double tap on the E drive. Go down to the PC folder, Transformers folder, and then the Redist folder. And install this physics file. So this is needed for War for Cybertron to work correctly. So once that has finished, click on finish and then close the file explorer and it should exit the desktop. Now if I go down to compatibility, you can, you know, play around with some settings as you can see here like the GPU driver, etc, but for this game, I didn't change anything, it is on default. So I'm going to launch the game now. And as you can see, it has detected my Odin device, so it will be using the built-in controls. You can also use the uh, on-screen controller as well, which I will show you in the video. Now, it does take a good few seconds for it to load up. As you can see, it has loaded up. I'm just going to move the overlay to the top. So here you can see the intro videos are playing. Now, believe it or not, you can't skip those intro videos on the PC or even if you're playing on laptop, nor even on WinLater. So every time you launch the game, you will have to watch these intro videos, but you can skip them on GameHub. I don't know how. Another workaround was to basically remove those certain videos or to delete them.
So here we are in game. Now if you're not using a Android handheld, you can use touchscreen controls by swiping at the menu on the right and enable touch controls. There are some settings on the bottom. So I'm just going to show you that the controls do work. So here I am moving around, uh, jumping, shooting. So yeah, the touchscreen controls do work. So I'm just going to disable that now and play with the uh, built-in controls. So there you have it guys, this is how you get Transformers War for Cybertron working on your Android device. Now if you have found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. If it is your first time here then please do consider subscribing as I have more videos coming up. Thanks for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video.